Otto from Robotic Creations. And in this, we're doing the Otto DIY and the Otto DIY Plus. Now, first of all, install the Autosonics. And I already have put the cables on. And you just have to look at the uh, schematics to find out which one is. So I actually put them on prior to putting them in because once this is in, you can't actually see these these th um, connections, which are VCC, Trig, Echo, and Ground. So I just pop it in. And that goes in. That has to go in after, of course, the touch sensor. If you have the touch sensor, otherwise with the DIY only, it's the eyes first. And I have actually put a bit of double-sided tape on the bottom to make it a bit easier to locate this. So you slot it in. This takes a little bit of fiddling around. Okay. Let's go gentle. It's always a little bit of a tight fit. Press your eyes in a little bit. Lifting. Okay. You just need two screws on this one. So and you just put them diagonally. So that's why the double sided tape. Um, hopefully there will be improvements done after this but that just saves you time if you put the double sided tape on and there you go so we've got that in here's the batteries installed now and the switch has been added it was a bit quite difficult to put in it's like a bit of horn and servo a spare one cut down to almost the last hole and then screwed in to hold down the hole switch and here's the switch here and you can turn it on off we now have this which is the actual buzzer and the buzzer has a positive and negative so it's just power in and ground out okay so with this one, it does slot in to here, okay, so you slot it into the back, might be a little bit of a tight fit, and I'll just push it down until it's there, and that's fine. Now the next thing we have is these touch sensors if you've got the Auto DIY Plus. And they go to the front. There's two lots. What I have done, um, now actually I've changed the colours a little bit so I know which is which. So the red is power, the brown is brown, and the blue is signal. Again, orange is power, black is ground, and the green one's signal. And I've actually, when they came, they were bent at right angles. And what I did was I straightened them out with a, just some pliers, gently cross both of them, and I've just taken them out and flattened them out. You'll see if you have the actual kit, what I mean. Okay, and that's as far as I can, they have got that bent in them. Okay. Now, we just pop these in, and this is why I got the insulation tape here. And we're going to just show you where the slots are. It just takes a little bit of work. Get them down. Once you get it down, you might want to put, pull the battery out while you do this. Okay. This can be done before the battery is installed if you want. And. 
I tend to take them down so they won't move or fall out. And that stops any shorting as well. So it should be fine. So we pop that down. Return the battery to its position. So your leads are at the back. Line it up. Just make sure these cables are free. Your feet. And there we are. So at this stage now we've actually got all the wires together. In, in their position now we're going to actually plug these in and bring Otto together now. So the left leg and that's the left foot, leg right and foot right. Okay. So we're going to start with these and we start slotting them again. Just remember we're going to have round to the back, then we have power and signal. Let me put that into number two, and we're going to put the left, I mean, right leg goes into number three, the left foot goes into. Number four. Okay. And then we have, here we go. And then the right foot again. Make sure you round to the back, signal to the front. And we go into number five. Okay, so. All the servers are now in, just make sure they're in properly. Just make sure they're down properly. Now, the next one we're going to be doing is first you've got tree, which is orange, and that will go into number eight. So, number eight is that one. Okay, and then we have, and then number nine is the green watch, which is echo, and that goes in the front on the signals, closest to the nano. On the power, that will go behind echo on number nine, and we're going to slot that down, okay. That's it. And then we actually go under this and go over to ground, which is the very back pin on number eight. Okay, so that's how it looks now. All right. Um, I'm going to pop these in now and then I'll put the buzzer on because now we're going to be joining everything into this. But this is, I'm going to consider this as number A1. Again, you've got signal. So A1 is at the front. We go down into here and slot that in. And we got live that goes directly behind. And then the back pin will be earth or neutral. Okay, so that's A1. So that's been done. I'll move this down a little bit. You can see it a bit easier. So, buzzer we can do next. We've just got to turn it that way. And it will be on number 13. Okay, so with these, you will have one, it's ground. A one that's live, but it's actually in signal. So we actually go to number 13 and I'll show you in a minute. You can see there. And then we just pop that in. It gets a little bit tight here. So if you want to move, 
this in. We got them in, okay? So that's what they look like now. As best I can show you. It's a little bit difficult when it's on this. Now, the next ones, if you are DIY only, you have done all your wiring now. But we're actually going to do these sensors. And I'm going to choose this sensor to be A2. And the other sensor will be A3. Okay. And these are on analog pins. So we've got, okay, so remember that green one is my signal. That goes to A2. Put that in there. And just take your fingers, put on each side, that pushes it down. The orange is power. That was going into the middle rail pin. And again, just a little bit of patience. If I get it down, that's it. And then we have rail, which is at the back again. Right, so that, yeah, that goes in there. So the last one of the actual pins is going to be A3. And as I say, it gets a little bit tight. Okay, I'm back with the power and I'm just about, whoop, I made a mistake of leaving one. He's on. I just wanted to check it did work. And so I'll just do it again. So we've got the red one in, which is power. And at the moment, as a, now you see I had taken these out. So the easiest way is I can see just that that is black. So that's, I mean, ground. So that's ground. I say neutral ground. And the next one is echo. And echo was green. You might not have the right cable colours. Just mark them in your on your somewhere so you know which is which. Then we go into uh, orange is trigger and red is power. So we put those in. So it's in. Put it down. You will find it does take a bit of teasing to get it down. And I do recommend little freezer ties so you can tie up some of the bundles of, you know, like the silver wires. So see if it works. So we'll go into the thing. Yes, not too bad. Now we are going to look at this on end block now. This is the main thing we look to do is programming. So now we have a little auto up and running. We will improve him from now on.